based on severity. Yeah. Uh, so blue comments are going to be minor issues, stuff that you could probably ignore, you could fix yourself, that kind yeah. of a thing. Orange we orange we save as noteworthy, like you might want to have it looked at or you, you need like further knowledge of the situation to know what's going on, that kind of a thing. And then red we save for health and safety hazards such as black mold and fire hazards and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, there's no reds, which is always good. That's good, yeah. Uh, right now we've around 19 blue, 25 orange. Uh, very typical amount of comments for a uh, place this size. Okay. For the sake of time, I'm just going to go over the orange comments. Everything mm -hmm. will be in the report, the blue comments, all that stuff. It's a very good, thorough report. If you have any questions, okay. don't be afraid to call me and we'll go over it together. All right. Thank you. I'm just going to go in the order it has it here for the orange comments. Uh, the front door doesn't seal completely. You can hear traffic going by. You can see light coming in. That could affect interior air quality, so we recommend you add a new weather strip. Okay. Uh, in the attic, there's dry wood termite pellets. Mm -hmm. So you know about dry wood termites, how they eat wood that could cause yeah. structural damage so there's a lot of pellets in the attic and i don't see any signs of repair so mm -hmm. chances are you probably have live termites somewhere oh. uh, the uh, handle for the door in the bathroom on the second floor is very mm -hmm. loose damaged it doesn't want to work properly so that needs to be replaced um, we got some loose cabinet hinges in the kitchen you can kind of see the door is kind of leaning yeah uh, the bathroom Cabinets are thermal foil. It's a wood cabinet with a plastic coating and the coating is starting to peel off um, Upstairs guest bathroom the caulking around the perimeter of the bathtub has open and failing joints as well So if you know how to work a bottle of caulking then just go ahead and fix that yourself pretty easy fix The light bulb for the microwave doesn't work um, So the exterior receptacles yeah so there's two comments here that kind of tie into each other. So none of the exterior receptacles worked mm -hmm. and the GFCI receptacle in the garage does not reset. So what's going on there is because that receptacle doesn't reset, uh, do you know what a GFCI receptacle is? No. It means ground fault circuit indicator. So okay. it'll trip when it detects power surges, moisture penetration, just any issues that aren't common, it'll trip for safety. And on um, these types of townhouses, the exterior receptacles are kind of connected to that. So if that's off, they're off. So what's going on is that tripped mm -hmm. for the safety feature and it doesn't go back to reset. So it just doesn't work now. And since that one's not working, none of the outside receptacles are working. Okay. Also, this receptacle is missing its protective exterior cover. You, anytime you have a receptacle on the outside of the home, you want it to be covered. Yeah, with so a, the, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, this receptacle right here was giving me issues, so I plugged my electrical meter into there and it would flash on and off saying it's working, not working, not working, not working, open ground, so this should be replaced as well. So just replacing multiple receptacles. Okay. <clears throat> uh, so two of the toilets are loose at the base, the upstairs guest bathroom and the bathroom down here, you kind of lean your leg up against it and they kind of want to tilt over, so we always recommend you restructure those to the floor. In the master bathroom, one of the two sinks was draining pretty slowly, so it could be something blocking the drain pipe, probably facial hair or something like that. I did see some facial hair in the sink, which mm -hmm. indicates that shave into the sink, so yeah. it's probably just clogged. Uh, one of the sink drain stops is inoperative. You know the tab, you go to pull the block, mm -hmm. uh, plug the sink. Uh, this does nothing, and it's stuck in the sealed position. So as of right now, no water is really draining. You have to replace the whole kit. But thankfully, it's a cheap fix. Yeah. The main water shutoff for the whole home uh, is outside over here and it's starting to rust, the actual handle. So we do recommend you update those every five years because God forbid you have a leak somewhere, you got to turn off and it breaks, you're kind of screwed. Uh, at the water heater, where two uh, connectors meet, there's some pretty intense corrosion. So, you know, it's indication of a minor leak that over time has started to corrode and then, you know, eventually this will leak even more and potentially burst. So. Uh, replacing that piping uh, for any plumber should be generally easy and not too expensive. So the AC systems are 2006, that makes them both 15 years old. Uh, the life expectancy for these things are 10 to 15 years, so it's like right there at the end. Mm -hmm. It's working really well though, so there's no real reason to change it right now, but there will be a time potentially where your insurance company could be like, we're not going to insure you with this aged unit, so you have to replace it. So. As long as it's working, fine, mm -hmm. but the insurance company might get you uh, get on you about that. Okay. 
Uh, the actual straps holding the condensing unit to the ground outside have rusted away and deteriorated over time. So as of right now, the unit is free to move around, which isn't great because, you know, we get high winds in Florida, powerful rainstorms, and uh, the supply lines going in and out of there are copper. So there's a chance you could kink or break a line if it's not properly secured. Uh, the evaporator coil and the air handler, so it's... Uh, pretty much almost like a filter. It takes in the air through the coil. That's what kind of cools it in a way. Uh, it's pretty, you know, it's somewhat dirty. We just recommend you get it cleaned. It's not deteriorated or anything, but uh, we do recommend you have HVAC people come out, you know, buy annually and service uh, the components. Uh, some moisture staining in the ceiling in the garage. It's not actively wet. You know, at one point there's some sort of issue. Uh, it's right beneath, I think, the kitchen. Mm -hmm. So there might have been an issue at one point, but it's been taken care of because it's no longer wet. Uh, the garage has high downforce pressure. All that means is you gotta stop it with your hand, the door going down, and you gotta really give some effort to it. Um, with it being that heavy of a downforce, you know, it could damage property, it could hurt oneself. So uh, actually at the back of the, uh, of the closer, yeah. there's these little knobs that you can adjust that will actually turn that down for you. Okay. Uh, the reverse sensors, you know the ones you kick your foot out and the door goes back mm -hmm. up? Uh, they're very low to the ground. We recommend those get raised up, you know, in between where your knee and foot are, you know, a good level like right here. Okay. That way um, it detects everything because yeah. if, it's, if it's very low, it's just going to go right under your car. Yeah. yeah. So uh, just you know, wherever you think it's a good place where it'll detect your car and a person, that kind of a thing. Uh, so for the wind mitt you ordered, um, you should have credits for everything. Um, the only issue is the two doors upstairs, the one on the second floor, the one on the third floor. Mm -hmm. They don't have shutters, they're impact doors, but the labels indicating that they're impact have worn off and are not legible. Uh, so there's no way for me to really prove it to an insurance company saying they're impact. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to give you the credit anyways because I know they are and I saw a deteriorated sticker and I can try to fight for you on that. But yeah. there's a chance we might get a kickback and they'll be like, we don't care, you know, unless you can prove it. Okay. Like, get out of here. So yeah. we might have an issue there. Uh, and then the last thing is that there's a limited amount of permits on this place. When I pulled permits for this building, the only permit I saw was the change out of an AC which doesn't make sense because yours is original. Mm -hmm. So what's going on is for this whole building right here, mm -hmm. uh, all the permits are tied into one category mm -hmm. and there's only one permit for an AC change out. So the permits don't make any sense. Okay. Uh, other than that, that's pretty much it. As I said, all the other stuff is minor cosmetic issues. There's no red comments. Um, so, you know, we're looking good. Um, mm -hmm. Any questions 